Hi everybody! So today we're going to be talking about how to purchase men's cologne and I thought this would be a fun topic since Father's Day is just around the corner so let's get started. First things first, you need to ask yourself just a couple questions. Number one, who are you shopping for? If it's your dad, you might not necessarily want to go for the newest Jay-Z cologne, but vice versa, if you're shopping for your boyfriend or something, you might not want to go for, let's say, a little bit more of a classic scent. Number two, when you're shopping, keep in mind that the scents that they already wear if you know it. So for instance, if your dad already has a scent that he likes, like a fresher one, try not to maybe push him toward a spicy scent or something of that nature because he might not necessarily like it. Number three, if you're being a little adventurous and you want somebody to try something fun and different, during the summertime, many brands launch summer colognes or perfumes, so those might be a fun thing to do. Or during wintertime, you can also try a more woodsy scent for them. Number five, if you're not entirely sure what somebody will like in a cologne, try to raid their cologne cabinet and see if you can see a common element like redwood or saffron, and then that way you can kind of base your purchases off that. Okay guys, so now that we've talked about the four main questions that you should be asking yourself before purchasing cologne, let's go ahead and talk about a couple main types of cologne that there are out there. Now I'm just going to list you guys the top four in my opinion, that way it's just a little bit easier to understand what you're looking at when you're looking at all those crazy looking bottles. So the first thing that there is, is a fresh cologne. And I think everybody knows or has probably heard of this one, but it's definitely one of the number one clones still out there and it's been going strong for quite some time and that is Aqua de Jo. For men of course. <laughs> now this one where I work has been number one in our store for over 10 years and this one is fantastic. It is made up of different elements such as citrus, rosemary, and jasmine and ocean breezes at the bottom which make it a very everyday easy scent for many different guys to use especially since scents change on everybody's body and depending on their chemistry scents can come out different but because of this one's composition it's really easy for lots of different guys to wear it so it is very much a classic scent now if a guy wants to go something a little bit more newer and not necessarily classic, another fantastic fresh scent to try that you just have to give a sniff next time you're in the mall is Yves Saint Laurent La Home. This one is one of my absolute favorites. It's amazing. This one has bergamot and ginger in it, so it gives it a little bit of like a fresh scent with a little bit of an edge because of the ginger. So it's not necessarily spicy, but it still has a fresh scent to it. The next category I would like to call is woodsy. So my absolute favorite woodsy scent at the moment is Dolce Gabbana The One For Men. This is the one I consistently buy for my boyfriend or that he buys and I just have to tell you guys, it's amazing. This one is a really nice woodsy scent, especially for those guys that don't want to be overpowered with the fragrance. This one has just enough ingredients in it that it makes it interesting but also not overpowering. This one has grapefruit, tobacco, and basil in it. Now if you have a guy who loves woodsy scents, you need to try YSL La Nuit de La Home. This one has cedar and calmaine in it. It is absolutely an amazing scent but because of the cedar it is a little bit stronger than Dolce Gabbana the one. So this one is definitely for your more woodsy outdoor kind of guys. The next category is going to be spicy. Now spicy can range either from a really intense spice to something a little bit more subtle. And the spice that I chose is of course a YSL one to show you. It's La Home Libre and I chose this spice because it's a little bit different than most spice colognes. It has a spicy undernote in it instead of a top note so it's not overwhelming which sometimes guys don't like. This one has nutmeg, pink pepper, and basil in it pink pepper. So this one is just such a nice combination of spiciness. It's fresher, but it dries really, really nice, and this one wears really well. Now, of course, the last category has to be citrus. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of citrus smells, but that's because I'm allergic to them. However, I think they smell fantastic on a lot of different people. And the one that I chose to show you guys is going to be D&G Masculine. This one's an interesting citrus one because while it has citrus on the top note with fruits like pomegranate, the bottom notes are going to be peppermint and figwood. So even though it has a very strong citrus smell, it also has a little bit subtle 
of a very fresh scent at the bottom. So those are just a couple different colognes that you guys can look into the next time you're in a store. I highly recommend that you try them all um, just because they're all such a fantastic blend of different scents. I hope this guy, I hope this video will help you guys when you're going to go buy your next cologne and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!